So this episode was suggested by our friend Heidi Hemstreet. She has three girls, um, all around our girls' age, and she texted me and said, please podcast what we should watch while we're quarantined. What movies, what we should be watching. So I made a list. I asked Georgia to make a list, but I don't think she did. Um, And so Bert and Georgia and I just sit down and talk about movies and what we have watched in the past, what we're going to watch in the future, about movie marathons, about double features, about um, movies to learn from. Tons of movies discussed. We also talk about board games we play and um, kind of what we're going to do in this quarantine, how homeschooling is going to go. I don't know. I figure this is a great opportunity to spend some time with your family. And, uh, you know, we really enjoy watching movies together. So maybe we pass some of that on. I have several friends who've uh, made a list of movies to watch years ago that we've been kind of clicking off. I've had a bunch of people ask me to, to share that list with them. So maybe maybe I'll put that list on my website. But um, thanks for showing up. Please be safe. Take care of your health. Continue to stream your entertainment and not go outside to seek it. Because um, I think if we would all just quarantine, this would be over so much faster. So so try to enjoy yourself, especially if you get sick. There's nothing better to do than just watch movies back to back. So thanks for showing up every week. The Beauty Counter pop-up store is still live through, I think, the end of March. So if you didn't listen to last week's episode about cancer... Uh, I'll just fill you in quickly. Tanya uh, it sells the Beauty Counter products, which are clean products with no carcinogens. And she has uh, offered another pop-up store for my listeners and viewers. And 20% of what you purchase goes to, is it the Living Beauty or livingbeauty.org, which is an organization that, that gifts um, treatments to um, cancer patients, treatments such as massages and acupuncture and treatments like that, kind of holistic medicine treatments to cancer patients. So if you are so inclined, you can go to the link, which is on my Facebook page and is in my Instagram stories and purchase from the beauty counter there. And we will, I'm going to match the 20% that Tanya is going to donate from her sales. So if you are so inclined, we would be really grateful. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for coming back every week. I hope you enjoy the movies we talk about and um, try to enjoy the time with your family. All right. Thank you. What's she doing? I went like this. And she goes. (laughs) That was me. Special guest today, Izzy Kreischer. We're going to see how this goes. She's on the couch. Maybe it's her nap time. Maybe. She I would was, love that. I too. doubt it so fucking highly. She was playing pretty hard while we were trying to do mm. our homeschool. Isla and I are homeschooling. Georgia's homeschooling starts tomorrow. Are you excited? No. No? <laughs> How's your homeschooling going to work? What Georgia? Like, how does it work? Uh, you. I don't even... I know you like go online and the teachers tell you if you have like a class, um, it, you feel like a class FaceTime, mm-hmm. but they just assign you work and you do it at home. So did you, did, have you logged into your school account? You no. should because you got three documents you're supposed to read by tonight. How do you know? Because I got the three documents, too, that said these have been sent to the students and to the parents. Please have everyone read them by Tuesday night. I just assumed you'd been logging in looking, but I guess not. No. Too much time on FaceTime, huh? Yeah. Too I'm much really social popular. time. So for you, a quarantine is just kind of like not really a quarantine because you're like multiple person FaceTiming. Every time I'm in there, there's like six of you on a FaceTime call. I know because we're not allowed outside. What do you mean they're not allowed Like outside? we're not allowed to see each other. I know. So you're not really quarantined. I'm no, quarantined. No, entirely quarantined. I'm joking. Oh, no. Clearly, oh, no. I'm joking. <clears throat> uh, trust me, I feel the quarantine. She's socially quarantined. Leanne, I think, wouldn't we argue that Leanne is Leanne is a rule follower? Yes. When the, when the state <laughs> says groups no bigger than 10 or more. We have two people. Yeah, Leanne literally. I think there's four that live there's in There's four house. of us. There's four of us. But Leanne is a hardcore rule follower. I am. And I think when it comes to stuff like this, patriotism 911 um financial crisis doing your taxes helping the homeless Leanne is very civic minded 
I am. Yes. If everyone was like Leanne, no lie, this coronavirus would be gone in two weeks. I agree because at a certain point, it's your social responsibility to quarantine. Just like it's your, I believe, it's my belief that it's your civic responsibility to vaccinate your kids because you put every everybody's, everybody else's kids at risk if you don't vaccinate your own kids. Yeah. So I, I feel like this quarantine is your civic duty. It's as important as voting. I think it's, I mean, we're obviously only two days in, but I, I, I really enjoy dinner and then what this podcast is about. Yes. Uh, yes. Um. So our good friend, Heidi Hemstreet. Shout out to Heidi Hemstreet, who, by the way, if the coronavirus can make it to Aspen, I'll be fucking shocked. <laughs> Same here. You know, her, her kids are just skiing every fucking day. No, they're quarantined. Are you serious? That's why she she texted me. Heidi texted me. And she has three girls. Shout out to Keith Hemstreet, my buddy who I went to college with. We wrote a script together called The Undergraduates. <laughs> Great writer, Keith Hemstreet. Yes. Um. So uh, Keith and Heidi have three girls. They're around our girls' age. And <clears throat> Heidi texted me and said, please do a podcast about what movies to watch, specifically about what movies to watch during this quarantine with your kids. And I was like, oh, that is 100% up my alley. Because what, a year ago, I made a movies, a must watch movie list for our kids that we've kind of banged through all these movies that we watched or brought it with me so I could have said what we've already watched. But I sat down last night and made an enormous list of movies I think that they should watch. Maybe and, not and even hope, just in the quarantine. I thing. hope you are pro and conning why. Because yeah. I have a list of movies that we watch on the bus. Oh. That we watched. Hold on. On the bus? Yeah. It can't be good for girls. What? Oh, is uh, this? I, I'm a guy. I, I watch these movies too. I know, but you said you want <clears> us <throat> to watch. We're a house full of girls. Hey, I think, I think my list will be surprisingly, shockingly good. Oh, good. MacGruber? I did just watch MacGruber. <laughs> I've seen MacGruber. It is not kid friendly. It is not kid friendly. And I swear to God, I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> it is, yeah, it is not kid friendly. Have you ever seen MacGruber, George? No. No. Oh, see, I think I think <laughs> it would be a good kids watch it in the, their own room. Parents watch their own room. Uh, you know, I think uh, people ask uh, ask me all the time if we let our kids watch your stand up, and I'm like, Are that you? Was my are num- you that was my that was kidding? my first one when I was going to go with was. Hey, Big Boy, hey, streaming Big Boy? right now on Netflix. Oh, you think we should let them watch that? No. I don't either. Not at all. I wouldn't watch it. I remember Georgia watched The Machine. She sat in bed with me. She was like, hey, how old was Georgia then? She, probably like 12, probably 11. Sixth grade, something like that. I was in eighth grade. No, you no not grade. in The Machine. That's the that's, other one. That's Secret oh, Time. Okay, that's then Secret I was in seventh grade. Time. The Machine was one You weren't in seventh that. grade. You no, were, you weren't. Okay, yeah. then I was in sixth grade. That's probably, what I said. Probably sixth grade. Sorry. Maybe fifth grade. And Georgia said she came in. You're such a teenager. I swear to God. <laughs> I literally, I said, oh my God. Sixth grade. Mind. Well, it's eighth grade. Okay, maybe seventh grade. Okay, sixth grade. Oh my God. That's what I said. It was sixth grade. <laughs> I'm the- done with this quarantine. I want to leave. <laughs> You're such a teenager. It's so exhausting. <laughs> Shut up. It really is exhausting. You have it's no exhausting. idea how exhausting your Wait, teenager is. one day is. you'll have a teenager and you'll go, oh, this is what they were talking about. Do you know the only way we can get her not to be a teenager? What? Is when we let her drive. She becomes a little girl. A little bit. Whenever Georgia gets scared, she turns into the little girl. I'm just scared of you. Because oh. when I drive with mom, it's a lot better than when <clears throat> I drive with you. I will, I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm not going to disagree with that statement at all. I think you are 100% accurate. I, I am a really bad person to teach you how to drive. I am really bad. And I don't know why. And I can't stop it. It's the backseat driverness. Is it? Bad. Is it sometimes I know what to do, but I don't know how to say what to do. So you say it really loudly. Aggressively and so <laughs> no. everybody can hear I, Georgia, it. Georgia. Left, Georgia. Left turn. No, left. I go, no. I go, Georgia, Georgia, what are you? Baby, you got it. Baby, you got it. You got it. And she's like, you're saying entirely too many words. <laughs> you say everything before what I need to know really loud and aggressive. And then when you say what I need to know, it's like three seconds too late. I'm so like, okay. it, here's an example. Instead of saying left turn, dad would say, hold on, now you're going to have to, in just a minute now, you're going to need to maybe make a, maybe you're going to be turning left. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Yeah. And then I'm already past the turn and then he yells at me for <laughs> passing the turn. And I'm he like, well, if you didn't it. say the 20 words before that, then I would have done it. All you need to know is left turn. And then whenever right. I break, he goes, <clears throat> and I'm like, I, <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> I'm not good. You do that too. Every time I'm driving, you both are in the front seat and you tense <clears throat> up. Well, it is hard 
Sometimes. I know this is going to sound really bad, but if I've had a few cocktails, I'm much easier to drive with Georgia. Yeah. In the back seat. In the back seat. Yeah. Your cocktails manage your anxiety. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So you don't think you driving don't think... with a new driver is very anxiety producing. Even for me, who has relatively little to no anxiety, it's still very anxiety producing because... Um, because she's always too far to the left or too far to the right. She's trying and to figure out the And sometimes you lane just notice she's and, getting close to mailboxes and garbage cans. And you just go, yeah, what the fuck are you doing? You and rear view mirrors. And you feel yourself withdrawing from the side of the car, like trying it's to like, help her. But the one thing I say George is really good at is, she, which she was never good at when, on jet skis, was you go, Georgia, go to the left. I know, dad. I know. I know. You remember the time I melted down on you in the middle of the lake? And I go, you don't know. That's why I'm saying it. And you went, why are you so angry? I go, because every time I try to save my life, you go, I know, dad. I know. Every time I try to save my life. <laughs> every time I try to save my life. That's what you just said. Every time I try to save so my life. So screw her life. Just every time I try to save my life. Yeah. You're fucking me over is what you're saying. I know, dad. I know. I know, dad. By the way, I will not be here when Isla learns how to drive. Fuck that. I was fuck, actually no, an but fuck driver. Fuck that. Fuck. Do I, I need to pull up? a great driver. She is. Do I need to pull up video? She ran the golf cart remember- into a lake, mom. What? What are you talking about? Do you remember that? No. Wait, do you remember when we got four wheelers in Yosemite? (laughs) Oh, she was just showing off. Bullshit. Yeah, she was. She has she has a need for speed. She does have a need for speed. No, when we were on a golf cart, she backed it into a lake and you had to get it out of that. Where were we? We were in Georgia. She like tried running over a bunny. Do you remember that? Where there was that. At the gold mine camp? Yes. And she ran into the lake. I don't remember that. Oh. I didn't remember there was a lake at the gold mine camp. It was just a river. Or then she ran into the river. Maybe a river. Maybe. But that's shallow. It doesn't even count. It's, you guys are ganging up on She her. ran it into a body of water. Well, that happens. It happens in rural Georgia. They're everywhere. I'm just joking. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we started our quarantine movie night with what, Georgia, last night? Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Great movie. Awesome movie. And this is a movie we tend to marathon, right? Many, many t- we do movie marathons. I'll right? tell you. I'll tell you. And by the way, I'm speaking directly to Heidi Hemstreet for this entire episode. Are you good? Yeah. Um, what's great about Pirates of the Caribbean, in my opinion, is it's it's layered. So yeah. you you end up really discovering more about the character that Johnny Depp is playing and watching his nuances. Mm -hmm. And and a movie like that, which also is a is a trilogy or quadrilogy. Oh, I don't even know how many. There's like four or five of them. Six or six. You can then do them night after night after night as a family and talk about them. But it's fun to watch a character like Johnny Depp. It's it's that guy puts so much into that character Mm -hmm. that the character never gets old. And so you can almost watch it's almost like watching Tommy Boy where you just see little nuances in Chris Farley. Yeah. And that's why I loved, we watched that last night, but that's when you guys go, Paris, Paris of the Caribbean. I go, oh yeah. Yeah, totally. We could do that. We could do number two tomorrow, number three the next day. Yeah. It's we really do, yeah. a great, 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 great. It deserves all the tag of franchise that it gets. Some franchises don't deserve franchise. I agree. That deserves the franchise. Do you, you, do you know what I'm saying, George? Yes. Like, I remember sitting in a movie one time and I saw Tom Cruise and someone behind me said, you know, they gave him 25 million for this movie. Mm-hmm. And I watched him that movie thinking, is he worth 25 million? I went, he is. He really is. Mm-hmm. When he runs, it's beautiful. When he dives, like you can't tell that they're stunt man. His acting is on point. Yeah. Like he really shows vulnerability. And Did I you went have, like a boy crush. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I'll tell you my man crush is right now. Oh, okay. That's uncomfortable. The man crush doesn't mean I want to get sexual with them. Okay. <laughs> sure. No, it just means Let like, me walk around in the rain in a Speedo. It's who he would like to be. It's who he wants what, to be. I'm sorry. What was your definition? Mr. I walk around in the rain in a Speedo. That doesn't mean I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, you have a man crush on Tom Cruise and you walk around our house in a Speedo. That I'm just a, means he's all, comfortable with his first body. First of all, I'm a Speedo. And other men's bodies. You're lucky apparently. I grew up or I'd be in a loincloth with knee-high moccasins. <laughs> and you'd be calling me nature boy. you go, Florida boy. If you were looking for me, you better look up in a tree, baby. Florida man. Florida man caught in Gelson's in a loincloth, <laughs> knee-high moccasins. Florida man. <laughs> um, 
The Rock. These are all the men that you'd like to get fancy with? To all the men no, I've No, but if, I'll tell you what. These before. are the men I wouldn't mind being quarantined with. The Rock, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Tom Hardy. Uh huh. They're all attractive. Well, yeah, I'm not going for ugly dudes. <laughs> uh, Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> yeah, he's not. I'm joking. Benicio Del Toro. They're yeah. guys that you could watch. Do anything. You could, yeah, watch, you, could, you could watch them do anything. You could watch them eat crackers, and they'd be in- interesting. This is not That's true. strengthening your point. Okay, let's let's pivot then. Okay, so Pirates of the Caribbean. So if we're talking about like th- marathons, we've done marathons in the past, right? We've done a Pirates marathon. What other marathons have we done? Star Wars. Duh. Obviously, mm. Star Wars. Isla and I did a Harry Potter one, and she got mad at me because I finished it without oh. her because she didn't want to finish it. Yep, Harry Potter is another good one. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Re- re- Go back to Star Wars. Establish the Star Wars marathon we did because I think that's of note. Well, we've done it twice. The one that I'm talking about. We did it once in the summer over a couple few days. <laughs> but Isla had her birthday party last year was Star Wars. We started at 7 a.m. And we watched, started with episode one. Not the first one made, but actually episode one. Like with Anakin and Padme. Yes, with Padme. And so we started with episode one and went all the way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that day or do we go through eight we went through no eight. we went through six and then we woke up the next morning and did seven and eight okay so we, we did movies one through six in one day started at 7 a.m and we ended at like 11 by the time we like stopped and had lunch and had dinner and then the next morning got up and did seven and eight right and it yeah. was amazing would you say it was really great it was really fun did you have fun doing that georgia yes but there's lots of other mar- movie marathons you could do, right? You could do a Rocky movie marathon. You could do a Die Hard movie marathon. I wrote them down. Marvel, duh. Yeah. I mean, you could do Marvel for like a month. There's so many mm-hmm. different Marvel movies. Harry Potter, you said. Lord of the Rings. We've never watched the Lord of the Rings movies. Us. It's kind of scary. Those, those, those guys that are like in, in the Middle Earth are kind of scary. Like, Lord of the Rings was kind of... <clears throat> Kind of confusing. In my, in, in my, I, I, like, I watched the first 10 minutes of it and I didn't understand it. So it confused me too. It. Okay, so we'll put a pin in Lord of the Rings. But we could do a Jane Austen marathon. Ooh, hard we could pass. Do... Hard fucking pass. <laughs> you <laughs> want to watch Google Man or whatever you're talking about We earlier? could do um, the five-hour PBS BBC miniseries of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, another We've already hard done that. Pass. We could do Sense and Sensibility and Emma all in the same maybe two days. That's another one, right? Well, these are for kind of for older kids. Can you think of any movie marathons for younger kids? Like like all the Cars movies or? Like children? Yeah, like children. Oh. Cars? The Despicable Me movies? I'll tell you what, movies? I know it's not much, but I, I really love, uh, I really, really love um, Frozen. I know there's only two oh, of them, but Frozen's great. really good. Frozen is good. Frozen 2 is good, too. Yeah. You like Frozen 2, George? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's only two of those though. This doesn't really constitute a movie marathon. More a double feature. I like they do like Disney Princess. Oh, Disney Princess Marathon. Anybody who hasn't signed up for Disney Plus, that's amazing, right? I didn't know we had it until yesterday. So oh. I all the Pirates of the Caribbean's on Disney Plus, all the Princess movies, all of Star Wars. It's all on Disney Plus. It's like twelve bucks a month. It's pretty great. It's a great time to have a streaming service right now, like Netflix. Like Netflix, so you Netflix can watch good Hey one, Big so Boy. Hey Big Boy. Totally. Streaming currently on Netflix. Twilight series, Indiana Jones series. Oh, I been I did the Twilight with um Tatum. Tatum. Did you? Hunger Games. Hunger Games? That's another good one. Good one. Ooh, Hunger Games is a good one. Fletch. Fletch is not a movie marathon. That's <laughs> one movie. <laughs> There's you, three of them. You could do a Chevy Chase movie marathon. Oh uh, no. No? Not with our kids, but yeah, you could do um, Caddyshack's two of them. Caddyshack, it's not a marathon, it's uh, two movies. Grease has two of them, those are double features. Okay, All okay, right. so a marathon. How about um, with a little explaining, a John Hughes movie marathon? Like, when uh, he- no, <laughs> no, I gotta take this real quick. Okay, you no, know, you can't. It's all they, they rape everybody. No, but no, what? no, no, that's not what I'm saying. Well, okay, well, when, 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 um. 
When George and I, I showed Georgia 16 candles, right? When we showed Georgia 16 candles, we sat down with her and said, there's this one scene where they're talking about this girl and this is not okay. Like, do you remember us telling you that? Yeah. Like, this whole scene is not okay. Like, the movie is so amazing, but this one scene is really not okay. And then we watched the movie. I think you can do that with a lot of John Hughes movies. Mm-hmm. You just have to kind of push pause and go, just so you know, this is not okay. <laughs> like, Breakfast Club? Not Breakfast Club's good. Yeah, Breakfast Club's pretty good. Narnia. Narnia? What's that? Oh, Narnia. Oh, The Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, that's a good one. I've never watched those. There's four of them? Ah. Oh. oh, interesting. I have some movies that I want to you guys to watch that I think you would learn something from. Eh. eh. Like, the, the like Forrest Gump. Like you learn stuff in Forrest Gump, right? Like about American history. And... Yeah. So movies like that. Oh. Like there's a movie called um, Norma Ray. That is about the unionization of factories that happened in the 70s. And this woman named Norma Ray, who really um, kind of spearheaded that movement. It's a rated PG, so I'm, I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I remember it being very moving. Moving, I remember learning a lot in that movie. So that's a movie I saw on my list now, Norma Ray. Another one that's like that is a movie called Places in the Heart. Coincidentally, both of those movies are starred Sally Field. But Places in the Heart is about a, a Depression-era family that goes through some hard times, and this woman befriends two very unlikely friends, and they help each other get through this really hard time. So you learn about the Depression. You learn about um, racism. You learn about um, uh, the Dust Bowl and all the things that happened during that time, and it's a really moving movie. So that's another one I want you and your sister to watch. It's, it's a double down where you are entertained and you learn something like Forrest Gump. Okay. Right. Well, that's um, that was another one. There's a great movie called Pay It Forward. Have you ever heard of this movie? <laughs> oh, good. Riveted by this podcast. Riveted. Yeah. You've heard of Pay It Forward? Oh my god. Yeah. I just kicked the microphone in my face. I I don't remember. I like, I remember people talking about it. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, it's such a great movie. It's about a little boy who has a uh, like an assignment in school. I think if I remember this right. And he decides to do three things for three different people they can't do for themselves. And he doesn't want to be repaid for that. He wants them to pay it forward by doing three things for like doing something for three people that that can't do something for themselves. And it creates kind of a movement and it changes a bunch of people's lives. It's a really cool movie, Pay It Forward. And I hadn't thought about it in a long time because it's from like the 90s. Helen Hunt and... um, Kevin Spacey, sorry. But good message. Um, there was another one, Inside Out, is a movie that people can learn from. The, about the your one emotions. about emotions? Yeah. That's a great movie. It learns about your emotions. It's just for younger kids. No? I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Remember Anger, the little red guy? Yes. To catch on fire? Yes. Did you funny. like that movie? I did like that movie. You did. What's your favorite movie? Um, I don't know. It changes. It changes? Or it doesn't change, but like I don't have a favorite. What's your favorite right now? Right now? Um, I don't know. You You don't know? I could tell you my favorite TV show. Okay, what is it? Atypical. Atypical? What's that about? It's a show... About this family, and they have two kids, and the older one's autistic, mm-hmm. and the younger one is a girl, and she's, like, on track. Um, and it's just about their family dealing with the kid who's autistic. And it's good? And he's like, he's, like, a senior in high school, so he's, like, about to go to college, and it's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. What network is it on, or where is it It's streaming? on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Atypical. Atypical. That's cool. What else are you watching? I am watching... <laughs> I was rewatching Adventure Time. Yeah, yeah. Adventure Time is a great show. It's it's just really random. For those of you who don't know, it's an animated show. Yes, and it's really cool. Yes, I like Adventure Time. I also like um, oh, I just went blank. Describe the, it. The brother is a a fish. 
The Cat and the Fish. Oh, Amazing World of Gumball. Oh, Amazing World of Gumball. I flipping love that show. That's a great, and Teen Titans Go is pretty good, too. Yeah. Um, da 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 Yes. da 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 um, Okay. Um, Groundhog Day. Have you ever seen Groundhog Day? Yeah, where Tom Hanks. No. Like, or not Tom Hanks. No. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. I get them mixed up. You do? Yeah, I don't know why. Huh. But he, like, go like he wakes up every day and it's the same thing. And he's trying to get this girl to fall in love with him. Yeah, and he keeps screwing up. He keeps being a jerk every day. Yeah, but so it's like something different he does to be a jerk. Yep, and he's got to start all over again until he gets it right, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of a good learning movie. Mm-hmm. So you remember our list, our summer list? I mean, our not our summer list, our list we were, of movies we were watching. Do you mm-hmm. remember any that you liked in particular? Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That was a good Shawshank one. Redemption. Oh, um, Aaron Bronkovich. Aaron Bronkovich. Great movie, that one, right? Mm-hmm. It's about a, a girl who is kind of down on her luck with three kids. She's single, and she can't get a job, and she finally kind of forces her way into getting a job in a law firm, and she ends up being involved in one of the biggest class action lawsuits in California. It's a really great story. Julia Roberts is amazing in that movie. Yes. What else have we watched from that list that was really good? Do you remember? I want you to watch Rain Man, but you guys won't watch it every time i suggest it you're like no oh uh, what's eating gilbert grape what's eating gilbert grape you like that movie yes that was a good movie that was a good movie so what's eating gilbert grape is about a family right mm-hmm. gilbert is a brother in the family and they have a brother who's played by leonardo dicaprio who's mentally challenged and they all kind of take care of each other in him. And their mother is extremely obese. And it's kind of just a moment in their life, right? Mm-hmm. When things go bad and things go good. And it was a good movie, right? I didn't think you liked it that much, Georgia. I did like it. That's a movie I watched over and over again when I was younger. It's on Netflix now. Is it? It's a really good yes. movie. What else did we watch on that list that was really good? I don't remember. Go get the list. Yeah, go get the list, please. Get you're closer to the you're closer to the door. There's a dog. Ah, okay. Well, I'll go get the list then, I guess, in a minute. Thanks, George. What else do I have on my list here? Oh, um, Karate Kid. Oh yeah. That's an awesome movie, right? Mm-hmm. Karate Kid, such a great movie. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. What else are you watching on are you watching on Netflix? Anything else? Adventure Time? That's on Hulu. Adventure Time's on Hulu? Mm-hmm. What happened to the Umbrella Academy? Did it go away? <laughs> oh my God, that's such a good show. What happened to it? I know, it? it's just having a, okay. It's just having a second season, but they haven't made it yet. What are you, what are you talking about? You say you're talking about Umbrella Academy. Yes. That is what we're talking about. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> like. Whoa, you just sat on her. I would love for that to pop up right now. Have they shot it yet? I don't know. Do you know if it's in editing? I, I have no know. idea. That's what we're, I was just asking. Oh. That's such a uh, good that's another, show. That's a great. Remember that one time me and you watched the entire series of Nip Tuck? Yes. Long time ago. Yeah, right? Yes. That was forever ago. I think you might have been pregnant with Georgia. Maybe. That was a long, long time and ago. And we watched the whole. And we Hello. could not turn it off. Yeah, that and Lost. Oh. Couldn't stop watching Lost. You know, we, we should watch the- We should watch The Sopranos. Always, everyone always oh, talks about The I've Sopranos. I've never seen that. I've oh. never seen it. I wonder if it would hold movie up. Movie Marathon, Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect Movie Marathon. Oh, Great we one. did the Pitchology. Uh, treble. What treble. Wrong? Treble feature. Yep, we did a treble feature where they played. Pitchology? Pitch Perfect know. 1, 2, and 3 back to back in this one movie theater. We took a whole, two carloads of girls down there, and I think it was us and two other people in the whole movie theater. It was amazing. Wasn't that fun? Mm-hmm. So you could do a Pitch Perfect triple header. Treble. Triplet. A triplet. Dogs. What else? What's your favorite Disney movie, Georgia? Um... I don't know. My fa- Peter Pan. Peter Pan? Or Alice in Wonderland. Peter Pan is awesome. You know what I love? I wa- I love Cinderella. You know why? Because we named our cat Gus Gus. And when we got Gus Gus, Georgia was obsessed with Cinderella. We were watching Cinderella constantly. 
So we got our cat named him. She named him Gus Gus. Cause, so Cinderella is a special place. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. In my heart. You need movies that are going to draw in dads too. Oh, I I just said a bunch of them. Well, maybe Karate not. Kid. Oh. oh, Karate Kid. Karate Kid, just the first one. Don't watch the second or the third. They don't hold up. They don't. I cried at the Karate Kid. Yeah. It was the first movie I ever cried at in my entire life. Have, you, have I told you that story? Yes, you have. But you can tell it again if you need to. I'm happy to hear it. No, 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 no. no. Georgia, do you know the story I when you cry in Karate Kid? I bore everyone with a great fucking story. <laughs> you know, Dad, George, nice I'm only one of the Go better ahead. storytellers of my generation. Uh, but God forbid I oh tell a story. You Everything tell the story to, to Georgia, you. and I'll go get the list of movies out of our kitchen. Tell tell Georgia the Karate Kid story. Have you heard the story, George? Yes. Oh, I'm not going to tell it again. No one wants to hear it. Well, everybody listening wants to hear it. No, no. Wants to hear it. Hey, Heidi. So this is the first, it's the first movie I ever went to with like just kids. I was in fifth grade. I was going to tennis camp, and. Uh, I knew this kid, Eric Nupple, but he had a bunch of friends that I didn't know. Kai Fernstrom, this kid, Jay, I want to say his last name was Davis. Um, Eric, I, think Eric, I think Daniel Costa was there. It was a bunch of kids I didn't know, and it went like one or two that I knew. <clears throat> so we're at tennis camp. It's the very first day. I, don't, I, don't, I barely know anyone, and I'm putting a group of people that I don't know. Towards the end of the day, at lunch, they get together, and they're like, hey, uh, we're going to go see this new movie, The Karate Kid. Yeah, I got to give a shout out to Eric Nupple. Eric Nupple was always at the front of the edge of like cool movies that I'd never fucking heard of because oh, yeah. I didn't have like, I didn't have any anywhere to learn about them. He took me to see Footloose. And when he took me to see Footloose, we went with like his whole family and a bunch of friends. Yeah. And he was like, I go, so this is a good movie? And he's like, oh yeah. And he was, I go, what's it about? And he goes, it's a bunch about a bunch of kids who can't dance. Oh my <laughs> and God. I could not stop laughing. So I was like, why can't they? Like in my head, I didn't ask any more questions. I was like, so we're going to watch a movie about people who can't dance. <laughs> and so they used to have a uh, tan van, a big tan, like pa- uh, 15 passenger van that we rode in. Oh, like, like a sports team van. Yeah, because she had three kids and everyone in their family was over six, eight. Oh, my God. Including Evelyn Knuppel was like, like legit, probably six, three. Like was she, she was a tall age woman. Or, oh, no. Or the mom. Oh, it was the mom. It was the mom. Eric, Kurt, and Kyle. Uh-huh. Kyle was the fucking stitch. He was like the 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 madman. He was the baby. And man, you can get that kid to do anything. Anyway, so they invite me to go see Karate Kid. And um, I tell mom. Mom picks me up. I tell mom. Mom's like, yeah, 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 yeah. What time? And I said, well, I think we're going at like 3.30. And she goes, sure, sure. Well, hop home. <laughs> I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to make a few phone calls. I'll get you over there right at 3.30, maybe a little bit early. Cut to about 3.45. <laughs> Sounds like Nana, Sounds right? Sounds so much like fucking Nana. You have no idea. This woman had no punctuality my entire... If I had a nickel for every time I was sitting at a baseball field and it was getting dark and a stranger went, said, hey, kid, do you need a ride? And I went, no, 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 my mom's coming. Went, dup, dup. And I would lie. I'd see a car going, oh, there she is. She's coming around the corner. Right. Thank you, sir. Mom, so try not to get sexually assaulted out here. So she's always on time for me. <sighs> she's different well, when like, you're a grandparent. Five minutes on time, like five minutes late is like on time. For she her. drops me off. The movie started. Oh, I missed all the trailers, right? Yeah. Movie started, and I, I'm pulling into like, and I'm trying to piece together what's going on in on this movie. But I, I show up, and all they've already sat down. And I'm, so I don't even get popcorn. I'm, 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 by the way, I have <laughs> hardcore social anxiety issues. I don't even get popcorn. I don't even get popcorn. No soda. I have hardcore social anxiety disorders. I sit down by my, I'm in fifth grade. <laughs> Imagine in fifth grade, sitting in a movie theater by yourself, just sitting down going like, no, I thought I wanted to go see the movies today by myself. I'm a fifth grader. <laughs> I sit down. I don't know where they are. I can't find them. I walked in front of the screen and back looking for them. Couldn't find them. I start watching the movie and, and then all of a sudden I start figuring out a little bit what's going on about this is a new kid in town and he doesn't have any friends and he's trying to make friends. And I went, that's, I connected with the story. I was like, oh, that's me in tennis camp. I don't have any friends. I'm making new friends. And then the movie's so good that I get lost in the movie. I get really sincerely lost in the movie and I am, I don't realize that I'm alone. I don't realize I don't have popcorn or soda. Aww. I just am like holding on to the armrests by myself, mouth open, fifth grade, feathered hair staring at the screen 
immersed. And by the time Daniel's son <laughs> raises his knee for the crane kick, I start sobbing, crying. <laughs> so hard i'm the karate kid i am the karate kid i am the karate kid i'm sobbing crying and when he kicks him it flows out of me i'm just i am uh, aggressively crying like aggressively crying you told or nana told me that when you guys went to go see star wars and you were in the car you thought you had the force and you (laughs) tried moving your chewbacca toy and it wouldn't move and you're like i have the force and it just wouldn't move you have no i I can tell you what street we were on i can tell you what street we were on and i can tell you the intensity georgia with which i tried to use my mind to move that chewbacca doll I was you like, really were you lifting the starfighter? It's, it's what's wrong with me is because I went, okay, I'm sure this is a movie. I have that also. If anyone's got it, I've got it. Like I've got the force and I'll be able to do this. And I sat so intently in the back of that car going, come on, Jenny, do it. Let's go. That's so funny. Come you on. know what I thought? I thought Darth Vader was following me everywhere and he was definitely going to get me. <laughs> I thought that I didn't have the force. I was definitely doomed. And walking two feet behind me at all times was dark. Oh, my God. So I'm sobbing, crying. <laughs> because you Credits are the karate roll. kid. Credits roll. House lights kick up. And the row in front of me are all five kids from tennis camp. All five kids are all sitting there. And they are laughing hysterically at the dude crying behind them. Yes. And it's me. Oh, God. And I realized they're, they've been making fun. I'm so immersed in the movie, I didn't even realize they were making fun of me. And then they see it's me, and like I think it was maybe Brian Crane and Eric Nuppel are like, oh, Bert, you're hilarious. You snuck up behind us and fake cried so that, you, oh, dude, you got us so good. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, guys. I, I got was you. totally faking it. Totally faking it. That's funny. It's my karate kid story. I think it was worth it. Totally worth guys, it. Guys, do me a favor. Um, Leanne, post this podcast in the comments. Listen to it and then go, hey, Leanne, don't ever cut burf on a burf. Burf? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Good job, dyslexic. <laughs> I won't cut burf Anyway. Off anymore. Burf Sorry, off. burf. No more. Karate Kid. I've watched Karate Kid 1, 2, 3 and the new, the reboot. The reboot also. Reboot. I've only watched one. I've only watched number one. So as a family, like with kids like elementary school age, what about E.T.? Is that too scary? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, when we watched E.T., I got so movie. scared. Don't show them E.T. I showed them E.T. and Gremlins one day after the next and they were terrified. Gremlins is a rough call. Yeah. Gremlins, Gremlins was scary. The... E.T. was scary too because when the kid was like in the hospital and when he was like dying. Yeah. I was sick, and I was like, this is what I'm going to be like. Oh, God. Because you showed us, and I was, like, sick from, like, yep. the stomach flu. You were sick from the stomach flu. And That's exactly I, when right. we were watching it, I was like, this is what I look like. Oh, my God. You have your daddy's brain. I am ill. Um, what about The Princess Bride? That's a good movie. That's a great movie, right? That's a great movie. And then The Goonies. Oh. I mean, Goonies now you're good. taking me to, like, the summer what year was Did the Goonies? Did you think you were like Mouse? I don't know what no, year was the but Goonies. No, I was, I've never... Let me tell you something. He thought... I've never been the character anyone ever wanted to cast me as. I'm the character that is leading the mu- movie. He's a hero. Oh. I'm always the hero. Always. The so hero. he is Luke Skywalker. He's not Han Solo. He's Luke Skywalker. No, I was... I, I think in that movie, I probably saw myself more as Chewbacca. Like but, you, only, but you were trying to move Chewbacca, and he didn't have the force. So oh, yeah, I guess I saw myself force, as I saw myself as Luke, Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah. So you did see yourself as the main character. Always. So I'm you were always, the kid with asthma. No, that's not the Goonies. That's not. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were thinking of like Chunk. No, the kid with asthma. <laughs> you were Chunk. No, I'm not <laughs> Chunk. Shut up, Georgia. <laughs> Shut up. I was Chunk. You were Chunk. <laughs> By the way, if, I, if I'm Chunk, you're Chunk's daughter, so shut up. No, I think you'd call it daughter of Chunk. Daughter of Chunk. <laughs> daughter of Chunk. Daughter of Chunk. There's with a Chunkus the among us. <laughs> I have the force and karate skills. Um, what about? Uh, do you ever remember watching the original Willy Wonka? You no, that? hard yeah. pass. Next no? question. No, why? Next question. I don't that want was, him to talk about it. That scared me. That scared the really? fuck out of me. That I have no scared interest me. The in girl blew bullshit. up as a blueberry, and then the kids started disappearing, and I was like, I'm never. And going the parents to don't talk. care. They're like, I guess our kid just disappears forever. <laughs> bye bye. And they were like, they're so walk good away. In that movie. Yeah, like d- the girl, yeah. little, the guy, like sunk in the Moose River, and the mom was like, okay. I was like, 
Okay, so when I start blowing moose up. Moose River. Like the river of chocolate. Oh, chocolate river. You're very sophisticated to call it a moose river. <laughs> yeah, I actually heard that too, and I was like, well, I don't remember meese in this. I don't remember any moose meese? either. Meese, the plural of moose. Oh, sure. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen like Richard Pryor, Gene Wilder movie? Stir, Stir crazy. crazy. I was taken. We should write that down. I don't have a pen. Stir Crazy is such a good movie. I think it's a PG movie. Uh, it I'm pretty sure. It shouldn't be. I saw it in the movie theater with my Uncle Bones. Oh, I saw this it in the movie theater too. This door is fucking making me so angry, Leanne. I saw it in the movie theater too with my dad. Oh, my Uncle Bones took me to see Fletch and um, Stir Crazy. Yeah. And Stir Crazy, when they started going, we bad, we bad. That's right, right. that's right, we bad, we bad. uh-huh. And I said, why uh-huh. are they doing that? And my Uncle Joe goes, Oh, because if they don't, they're going to get raped. And I'm oh, like, my God. <laughs> uh, what? He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's very common in prison is they rape each other. So they're trying to make sure they're tough so people, no one wants to rape them. Oh, my like, God. I TMI. Like, oh, cool. Thanks, Joe. That's that's implied. I think you could get away with watching that movie and not really have. It's not overt. Oh, I wish I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's not. You, you could. I think our kids could watch that movie. Oh, I would love to watch Stir Crazy with my kids. Yeah, we should do that. We should watch Stir Crazy. What's another old movie like that that we could watch? Can I go get um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. A water? There's a water in that box right I'll there. I'll tell you oh, what, what. I'll tell you what movie I I really do love that what? we've been watching a lot of. What is Back to School? Oh, I have that on our DVR to watch with the girls. Rodney and Dangerfield in that movie. It's a really funny movie, and I remember funny. when he does the trip. No, no, not to spoil alert it. When he does the triple Lindy at the end, yeah. I was crying fucking laughing i've had that saved i think since the summer to watch for the girls back to school i guess our dogs know nothing about social distancing why oh they're just sitting on halston's lap oh yeah yeah hey kick, kick izzy out of here why what's because, she doing because well, izzy if get we the fuck kick out, her out here. we gotta put her in the house okay <coughs> hey can you not cough when i talk about social distancing <laughs> I think she's being a good dog. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but she is awake. <gasps> what time is it? <gasps> I don't know. 5.15. Okay. Why? Because at 5.30, I have to wash my tie-dye. You have to wash your tie-dye? Yes. Um, it might be okay if you're a few minutes mm-hmm. late. You tie-dyed. What did you tie-dye? <sighs> a sweatshirt. This is a quarantine project. Tie-dye. Mm-hmm. Aren't you glad we went and got the tie-dye material before we were actually on lockdown? Yes. So what else were you going to do in this lockdown? I what? ordered blue hair dye. Okay. So I can dye my hair blue. I was thinking about shaving my beard and my head. Not your head. (laughs) Yeah, your head. Just shave your head and leave your beard. I was thinking about letting the girls. Can you please let Izzy get out? She's driving me fucking nuts. No, she's fine. She's not. Okay. Why would you want to shave your head? I don't know. It smells like You have a lot of hair. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Georgia did not know that your portrait had been moved and placed in the man cave. I hate it. Why? Is that an actual question? Well, I mean, you don't spend any time in here, so what does it matter? It's still within 50 feet of me. Well, you mean at the moment, right? It's not bad, George. At least he didn't leave it above your headboard. Oh, my God. Right? I wouldn't be able to sleep. <laughs> hey, babe. What's up? <laughs> you're being overdramatic because being you're not over- getting I'm not, what I'm you not want. saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Oh, you're saying a lot the, with your eyes. Well, I, I didn't you're going, mean to. mom's going, hey, baby, you're, what? you're going like this. What? Just because you're not getting what you want. No, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. You're throwing a tan- <laughs> temper tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> not letting the dog out. And you're going, you're not throwing a tantrum, but you're definitely fixating on the fact that I'm we haven't I done can't. what you asked. Don't worry. It's fine. You're not tantruming, though. Her moving around the man cave gives me anxiety. Why? It just de- it does. Because she starts chewing the floor. Hello. See, see, she's getting back up. Hello. This is what I was hoping would happen, is that she'd come back up and lay down. Okay, so if we're not going to watch movies, I mean, we are going to watch movies. What else are we going to do? Clean out closets? Yes. Stop pushing that. No, no, there's no pushing it. It's going to happen. You know why? In your closet. No, in all four people's closets. I share a closet with Dad, and it's a disaster. So we're going to pencil in a project day where we're going to clean legit clean out all our closets like i might even as- assign you and your sister like one thing per day like today mm. you're going to do the cubbies that's funny 
right? Tomorrow you're going to do under your bed. The next day you're going to do the shelves in your closet. The next day you're going to do your clothes. I mean, why is there so much resistance to this? Why? This is work. This is, I think, stuff you enjoy. I don't enjoy yeah. it. Um, but you know what? I stuff that you find joy in that no, no one else does. You know what I find joy in? Lack of clutter. Yeah. And yeah, your room, when I walk don't. in your room, is anxiety producing. Let's pick and one And your day. closet, when I'll I walk you in what. your closet, is anxiety producing for me. Because what produces anxiety for you is not the same as for me. And for me, the clutter makes me bananas. Well, you're not ever in my room. Yes, but I will, very I'll tell you soon like we're going to gonna be moving your I'd like room. To take, I'd like to take Georgia's door off the hinges. Me Why? too. And Isla's. During this quarantine, uh -uh. I'm going to take all the doors off. Why? I'd I just take Georgia's top door off. No, yeah. what the heck? I don't like how much you're in your room. Why not? Because I like you out with me. I don't you're like not ever either, out actually. here. I don't like it either, actually, because I feel like I never see you and you're always just in your room. T this Today's quarantine has been me in the man cave, mom and I in the living room, and George in her bedroom. Yeah. Because you're doing homework, so I don't want to go out there while you guys are doing homework. I'll sell it somewhere else, sister. You spend all day every day in your room. You're going to have to leave it on because when I'm on FaceTime with my class... Yes, you have to be in there with your own FaceTime in your class. But like last night, we stopped our movie early enough. We could have started another movie and you went right back to your room and being out for the movie was the only time the entire day you were not in your room. Not true. Teenager. That's, you're bully, both of you Wouldn't it be great if the coronavirus uh, made children regress in age? <laughs> Just for temporarily? No, for like 10 years. So Georgia would go back to five and then start back up again. Oh my God. No. I would love that. Five-year-old Georgia was the cutest oh, thing so, ever. So much better than 15-year-old Georgia. <laughs> I don't know about better. Oh. It's just different. She'd hop on your lap. Oh, she Oh, my would. God, I'm leaving. She would she hop on your so lap cute. and ask questions. What's so why, funny about? Why come, Daddy? How come, Daddy? What's so funny about, Dad? What's so funny about? No teeth. She had no teeth she back then. She had no teeth forever. Remember you broke your jaw and all, all your teeth were gone for like eight years? Yes. And then I got bullied. Who oh, it was called gummy at school. Who called you gummy? I don't know, kids. But I didn't care. <laughs> okay. It was called gummy because I didn't have any teeth. You don't know what the fuck bullying is like. Uh, oh, no, mister. I had the force. Yeah, yeah. I was. Imagine you didn't that get kid. bullied because you had the force. Imagine yeah. that kid <laughs> going up to school. I got bullied big time. When I moved to Atlanta, it was awful. Yeah, but probably you deserved it because you were yeah. uneducated. Uh -huh, you think so? That's how they got you to get up to speed. Oh, you is were that a, right? Yeah, you were a you were a, a back neck, back hillbilly. neck, back backwoods, <laughs> backwoods redneck, a hillbilly, a hillbilly with a piece mm -hmm. of straw in your mouth and mm -hmm. and a stick, no a stick over your shoulder with a with a handkerchief holding all your goods. And she walked into class. She said, "Like a hobo." <laughs> yeah, like a hobo. <laughs> I was like a hobo. <laughs> I talked to Wade today. Wade Kemp? Yeah. If I did a, a Facebook video live. My Wade yeah. Kemp? Well, what's he doing? He was on Facebook live. He just was following me and he said, hey man, you guys should come to the lake house. And I was like, why aren't we fucking holed up in the lake house? Yeah, good, good well, question. Be, because we could kill Papa Jay. Although it was freezing there. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's cold this time of year there. And the lake's empty. Not empty, but it's way low. I've heard a list of celebrities that hightailed it out of L.A. and went to very expensive houses they have. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's privilege. Oh, for sure. Oh, get me there. We just all <laughs> stuck in a small three-bedroom house. Fucking, we have a new house, and this house sucks. This house with, mm. I tell we'll you We'll be what, ready to move out after this fucking coronavirus. Adding one dog... One large dog has completely changed this house. Would you say that's accurate, Georgia? Yes. With the addition of an, another la if it large was another dog, small dog, then it wouldn't have. But this I can't, one's just a mania. She's a. It's I can't walk water, from idiot. one end of the house to the other without tripping over a dog, or a dog ball, or a dog toy, or a dog bed that's been moved by a dog. It's just one more dog really made it. It's just very tight. She likes quarters. I'm gonna put it out on Twitter. What's a great movie to watch? No, they're, they're, never mind. What's wrong? That everyone will just go, you're special, or think and think I'm promoting. Oh, no. Um, so I give me some we, more movies. Well, we already talked about a bunch. I'll tell you some here. ones that are amazing that I think the kids could watch. The okay. Godfather. The Godfather. <laughs> Godfather's one of the best fucking Goodfellas. One of the best fucking movies Goodfellas ever. is so violent. Kids could watch it. Oh, my God. I don't think a lot of kids could watch Goodfellas. Of course. 
Our kids maybe, but I mean, it's pretty violent, that movie. Godfather would be a great one to watch. I haven't seen Godfather in forever. I don't even remember We should watch movie. The Godfather together. Okay. Scarface, you know, that's pretty Scar- I remember saying Scarface is really fucking scary. Yes, intense. it's terrible. Yeah, I, I, didn't, would, I didn't mention Isla Scarface. Would, Isla would have heart attack. We showed Isla Scream and just it. She's still having nightmares. Ooh, what are some scream. good scary movies we to watch? We were watching uh, Speed and Isla. Oh, yeah, she couldn't handle speed. Well, let's talk about the movies we have watched, right, already. We've done. talked about movies. Well, these are a lot of girl movies, but The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants was a good girl movie, right? Yes. That'd be good for Heidi's girls. Yeah, what was the nun movie? Sister, Sister Act. Act. Yeah. That was a fun movie. That's a very family-friendly movie. Oh, Ghost. Remember Ghost? Yeah, where the, the, the dude died. Yeah. The Outsiders. I have a hard a time watching movie. anything Patrick Swayze. You do? Yeah, because he's so good. Well, I'll tell you a great what? series to watch on Oh, Netflix. is he another man crush of yours? No. Well, he's passed away. He's passed away, oh. and, and he was just he was amazing. fucking fascinating. I'll tell you a great series to watch on Netflix. What? The Movies That Made Us. Oh, yeah? Have Stop you seen it? No. We'll watch. Let's watch that tonight. The Movies okay. That Made Us. It is such a great We're series. We're watching Pirates, on, too. We're watching Pirates, too? Well, we can watch them both. And when you decide to go back to your room. The Movies we'll That Made Us. The Movies That Made Us. <laughs> I'll tell you a great movie that you haven't brought up. What? Home Alone. Oh, yeah. That's a great movie. It's a yep. John Hughes movie? Yes, it is. Directed by the guy. Chris Columbus. Chris Columbus. Mm-hmm. And Hello. what's an interesting thing about Home Alone is okay. um, the original studio that was doing it, Columbia, I think it was, or Sony, um, they said they'll do it for $14 million and they started going over budget, and they just pulled the budget and said, movie's out. And this is what you learn in movies that made us. John Holmes. John Hughes. John Hughes. John Slightly Holmes. different than John Holmes. <laughs> Somebody gets their mind out of the gutter. Maybe get your mind out John, of the gutter. We, you know, John Holmes has a bunch of great movies we should watch. <laughs> no. Have you ever seen a John Holmes film, Georgia? Uh, no. Um, and so John Hughes had a meeting with uh, someone at Fox the week he knew he was getting, they were going to pull the plug. Mm-hmm. And he serendipitously left a script of Home Alone with the guy at Fox mm-hmm. did weren't allowed you were not allowed to do that but he just left it in a place that he the guy found it yeah randomly oh I accidentally left it at the theater at sorry the, at the bar yeah guy picked it up read it and said if they cancel you we'll pick up your but the rest of the budget do not stop production awesome it's a really fascinating series um I'd Brian Volkweiss pr- uh, pr- produced it that's great it's a really they do Die Hard Home Alone it's a fucking really great series. Oh. Die Hard is a great movie to watch. Yeah. And it's really fascinating, especially these are the movies. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, these are the movies that we all know and love. Mm-hmm. And they talk about basically the production, who was going to get cast. It's really fucking great. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. What were you going to say, George? For kids, you can do Night at the Museum. Night at the oh, Museum. That's a great one. Those Night at the Museums great. are awesome. And that you could do as a marathon. Because there aren't three. there three? There are three. That's a great movie. I really like the Night in the Museum movies. Yes. You guys liked those for a while. Yes. Uh-huh. They were really great. Tropic Thunder is a great movie. Tropic Thunder is. is funny. I don't Tropic think they've Thunder, ever seen it. Tropic Thunder is fucking hilarious and so could not be made today. No, could not be made today. No way. I can't think of anything else. We've already talked about everything else. Best in Show. That was a good one. And The Birdcage. Oh, The Birdcage with Robin Williams and Nathan Lane. They're a gay couple that own that uh, oh that um, nightclub for uh, I don't know the proper term for cro- cross dress. Don't even say it. No, don't even say it. Drag they don't queens? don't they don't exist. Don't say it. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I was drag say, it was drag well, queens. That was drag queens. You can say that queen. back then. Yeah, but you can. I think you can the, say that. Drag now. queens aren't don't mean you're transgendered. The, yeah, exactly. They're just men who dress as women, right? As women in show. In show, yes. Yeah. So. Um, but that's a great movie, that movie. The Birdcage, that's something Heidi's girls could watch for uh, sure. How about Meet the Parents? Meet the Parents is an awesome movie. Meet the Parents, w- Meet the Fockers. There's something about Mary. Uh, they Her kids could not watch that. Yes, yeah, a little bit of sex in that. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Still a fucking hilarious movie. That's a great movie. Okay, you ready for Charlie's the- Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels, awesome movie. You can watch all three so, of them and then watch the new one and, and then be, go. it'll put your right to sleep. <laughs> I haven't seen the new one. I'll I saw you, the new one. It wasn't bad. I'll tell you the movie I'd love to have on DVD here. What? That I used to watch all the time in college. Can what? you guess it? 
Uh, this is like you driving. Ben Wilder. No, I never, I've never seen Ben Wilder. <laughs> Ace Ventura, <laughs> Pet Detective. Ooh, we Ace have that Ventura. on DVD. By the way, all those hold up. All the Ace Venturas. I did not I like that when it came out in the movie theater. And when I, I watched it again, I was like, it's kind of stupid. It's a little too over the top for me. Okay. Ace Ventura. Uh, Clue. Clue. Oh, yeah. It's a great layered movie. Yeah, you movie. love that movie. I Matrix. love Clue. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Matrix. <gasps> the Matrix. George is pulling out all this stuff. The Matrix. You know, your mother's shown you all these movies. Just saying. You haven't remembered any of them. Though. No, but I because I. The Matrix the is oh, so Matrix fucking is so good. good. Yeah. I I got so excited, like chill bumps, and lost my stomach when at the end of the first Matrix, when they're coming at him, and he just does stand still, just goes. Brr, brr, I know, brr, right? Brr, 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 did you think that was you also? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, of course I you did. did. Are you Neo? Yeah, I'm all of them, Leanne. You Neo with the Force. What about Jaws? Oh, I don't know. Ow. Jaws is pretty scary. I feel like, I, you know what I feel like? But I what about like Jaws... Poltergeist too? No, definitely oh, not. Oh, you could do a Toy Story Marathon. Toy Story Marathon? I've never seen any of the Toy kids. Stories. <gasps> They're so good. Am I going to cry? Yeah. 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 Uh, best sports movie ever. Okay. Okay. Unnecessary Roughness? Just kidding. <laughs> a League of Their Own. Oh, that's yeah. a great one Heidi's Girls Could Watch. A League, a League of, their, of their, own. their Own is a great one. Who's great yours? movie. Uh, Hoosiers, great fucking Hoosiers. sports movie. We watched that in the Girl Scout troop. Great movie, Hoosiers. Um, Sandlot. A, a Field of Dreams. Yes, great movie. Sandlot. The ice Sandlot's skating good. one with oh, the chick. The cutting Edge. Yes. Oh Heidi's God. girls could definitely oh watch The Cutting my Edge. God. Hockey player, can't play hockey anymore, is recruited to be a couple's ice skating skater, and they go to the Olympics. Come on, they fall in love. It's the best movie. Uh, it's the best movie. Miracle. You like it. Miracle is a great movie. Miracle is an amazing, easy, cry worthy movie. Let's see what they say when Rudy? they say Rudy's. Rudy's. I don't know if Rudy holds up. No. Rocky? I already said Rocky. Oh, is Rocky a sports movie? Well, it's about boxing. It's boxing. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, that's called joking. Dad, what time is it? Spaceballs? Did you say space ball? Space, space Jam? Jam? Space balls. Hard fucking pass. Oh, I never is saw it, space. It's but the best? space balls you can have no. a mel brooks marathon you're saying that robin hood men in tights okay so mel brooks marathon okay robin hold hood on. men in tights space balls oh heidi blazing heidi, saddles. heidi blazing you gotta, saddles, you've gotta you let your to... girls watch uh okay. watch blazing saddles you just have to well i le- i showed the girls blazing saddles and i said listen this you is can't say this a farce this is making fun of racism that's what Mel Brooks is doing. He's making fun of racism. So it is an overtly, insanely racist movie making fun of racism. I don't know if they By the way, if you're, if you're looking for an homage to racism, watch uh, Bad News Bears, the first one. Oh, yeah? God, man, that's so inappropriate. That's so fucking inappropriate. You know what's a cute movie? What? That it, this good for, that's a really cute movie is Grumpy Old Men. Yeah, that is actually. It's a, great a really movie. cute movie. Oh my god! You want to know one of the greatest movies ever? What is Beautiful Girls? Oh, that's a great movie. Steel but Magnolias. That, Steel Magnolias, great movie. On Golden Pond is a great movie. Parenthood is a great movie. Um, nine to five. Nine to five <laughs> is a great movie. I showed you guys that nine to five movie. We had to talk about that. Being you know what's fun? Do, let's name movies that you'd put on in front of your kids, and they just go, "What the fuck is this?" Uh-huh. <laughs> you googled like, like them. Like if I if I just said to Georgia, "Hey, we're gonna go watch White Men Can't Jump," <laughs> you'd be like, <laughs> "What?" Huh? <laughs> How about you? I don't think I get the premise. I don't understand racism the way you did back then. All <laughs> right, the help. The help's a great movie. I and love how I said Heidi's- racism, and Georgia goes, "The help." <laughs> Because it was about racism. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yes. You never saw oh The Help? <laughs> Such a great movie. Caddyshack's not about racism, but <laughs> maybe about classism. Dragon. I'm just naming movies. How to Train Your Dragon is a great movie. How to Drain Your Dragon? How to Train, train Your Dragon. Sir. Oh, is that what it's... How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, that's interesting. Say a lot. Oh, my God. Um... Angels, Angels in the Austin, Outfield. What fucking childish brain do you have? I don't do you know. Go, Space Jam and Angels in the <laughs> Outfield. <laughs> um, but wait, wait. What did you Google? Best sports movies ever? No, I'm not oh, I'm Googling them. Hey, yeah, that's cheating. What time no. is it? I have to take my tie dye out. Um, 
Five thirty. I'm two minutes. Behind. Oh, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna tell finish you what. this podcast. It won't be no. much longer. I'll tell you what. Go check your podcast, and I'll talk to mom. Go okay. check your tie dye. Tie dye. I think uh, she's gonna rinse it. Oh, okay. So, well, don't. How long are we going? No. Are we been going an hour? Yeah. Jesus. So much to talk about. Um, what about classic movies, black and white movies? Oh, oh, oh. This, see, this is how mom and I fell in love. Yeah, black and white movies. Ready? Philadelphia so Story. So wait, let me. Remember the Philadelphia Story with no. Catherine Hepburn, where she was oh, yeah. marrying somebody, but she divorced Cary Grant. Yes. Remember, and Jimmy Stewart came in the picture, and she got confused. Such a great black and white movie. That one, really uh, good. Uh, Wizard of Duck Oz. Duck Soup. Duck Soup. Duck Soup is one of the funniest movies. It's the Marx movie. Brothers. Wizard oh, of Oz. Okay, the Marx Brothers is great. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember that. You're talking about old Wizard of Oz? Because yeah, uh, some of it was in black and white. Yeah, it was your yeah, you know, you know what happened? Why some of it was in black and white? Because and some they in color? used some of the cameras for Gone with the Wind. That's right. Jesus, you are your daughter's mom. Your mom's daughter. That's because when mom sh starts a movie like that, you know, I had to take a film history class when I lived in New York, and uh, I learned that in that film history class that there were only so many Technicolor cameras that on the planet. Share. So they had to share it with Gone with the Wind and Gone with the Wind went way over their schedule. So they decided to make Kansas be in black and white. So are I you guys ready cool. for the mic drop moment that you guys have missed? If oh, this sure. isn't a mic drop moment, I'm going to be very disappointed. Go ahead. Drop you guys, it. You guys have been walking right past the I should be like Polar time. Express. What? Beaches? Oh, Beaches No, no one wants to watch that. You're just going to cry. You want a movie that leaves you excited? Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's a so. great movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. It is great. You movie. can do a marathon because they did the girls one too. Hot shots. I don't know hot shots. Hot with shots part de. Yeah, part de. With Charlie yes. Sheen. What yes. was that? A Charlie Sheen one with the about the Indians, the um, Cleveland Indians. That's a sports movie. What was Major the, League. Major League. What That's was a great movie, movie. Where it's like Hungover or The Hangover. The Hangover. hangover. They are a little too. It's a little too aggressive I for like a child. Bridesmaids. So, it's a little too. I like I, you just became a teenager, so like, let's like let's pump the brakes. You're a brand new teenager. You're brand new. Adam. I'm not. You're brand new, George. Okay. Terminator. We watched the Terminator. You can watch Terminator Doggy. Two, and then the new Terminator. Oh, we did watch now. the Terminator. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dougie. We did watch Terminator One, Terminator Two, and the new one that just came out with Linda Hamilton again is supposed to be essentially the third in that series. Even though there was a Terminator Three, Four, whatever, this one is directly in line with Number One and Two. Dad really likes Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, Thor Ragnarok is fucking awesome. Is it? Yeah. By the way, all those Marvel movies really fucking deliver. They really do. I mean, th those like they're not just for nerds. Like they're just for everyone. Like I get that. Like everyone some but people, mom. Ow, mom doesn't like them. Mom I hates a Marvel movie. I fall so... asleep in them. They're not. I think they're boring. I feel like Dad thinks he's like Star Lord and Thor. Well, I did love Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy. That was a great movie. You can do a marathon. Cause there are three of them. You can do. A There's three Guardians. Oh yeah. What? I yeah. There are only two. No, there are three because the third one has baby Groot. I thought that or was like the second teenage one. Groot. I think we have baby Groot. It is. It is. You're so cute. So we haven't. Oh, they're making a third that's one. That's what I thought. Jesus. You don't mess with me with my Guardians of the Galaxy knowledge. It's the only Marvel movie I like. Did we yes. talk about Airplane? Hello. No. Well, we, Airplane's movie. a great movie. It's a great also, movie. Also, like some, weird. but there's like boobies in that movie, like naked boobies and stuff. And there's a lot of sexual innuendos thrown around. So that may be for an older kid yeah. or a kid that's too young to get the innuendos. Okay. Um, um, planes, trains, and automobiles. Planes, trains, and automobiles is another John Hughes movie. There's like two categories of John Hughes movies. I think there's one category of like of like Sixteen Candles, some kind of wonderful. Pretty in Pink, Breakfast Club, like those John Hughes movies. And then there's Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Home Alone, Uncle Buck. Um, what else is is he? Um, what about Die Hard? I already said Die Hard oh, yeah. in the very beginning. <clears throat> Uncle <laughs> Buck. Jo John Hughes movies are Dog. awesome, except for the teen, teen ones. The teen Because ones. they're inappropriate with sexual, um, like. Etiquette. Se se sexual assault, really. Like the guys do things that 
I guess guys did back then, but uh, it, you're yeah. not allowed to do at That's all. right. So you have to... Uh, we just had a conversation with our girls before we started the movie. Hey, there's parts in here is not how we behave now. But the movie's really funny. And a lot of the relationships that happen in the movie still happen today. So not the sexual prowess part, but... Is 16 Candles the one with Long Duck Dong? Yes. What was the one with the skiing and the French girl? And... Oh, my God. Better Off Dead. Yeah. <gasps> Heidi, your girls should watch Better Off Dead. Ex except uh, there's still some racism in that, too. There is some race. Yes. Well, I mean, it's, it's hard to 80s. dodge racism. You just have to. I think. Listen, I think if you have a conversation <clears throat> and you say, this is not the way we behave anymore. We have learned as a society to do better than this. I think you can kind of enjoy the entertainment for what it was, you know. Um, it, it shouldn't go without speaking about it. You shouldn't yeah. just go, and that's how it is. You should speak about it. And then it's uh, kind of fun. Yeah. When you look at when you so look great. at those movies where they like like Sixteen Candles, where we were just doing the long duck dong yeah things the other day in the bus and ron was laughing hysterical ron's my bus driver and he's my age but he had a di very different life than i did he grew up in compton yeah and uh he was like he's like man that shit's still funny why don't they do that we're like because it's not it's not funny to them ron right <laughs> like <laughs> like they have a problem with it he goes i don't see it i think it's <laughs> fucking funny um the like for kids that you could do like a spy kids Spy Kids is great. Those were great movies, weren't they? I mm -hmm. loved Spy Kids movies. We've watched a lot of movies. You know what else we did? Is we bought the DVD of the first two seasons of I Love Lucy. And doesn't that still hold up in a lot of ways? You guys loved I Love Lucy. When we had the DVD player mm -hmm. in the truck, you watched I Love Lucy all the time. Yes. With Ricky and Lucy and Ethel and Fred. They were so fun. I wonder if you can stream that somewhere. We just had the the season one and two on DVD. Um, back in the day, we've come up with a lot of good movies. A lot of good movies for a for a eight week quarantine. Yeah, a lot. Eight week. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be a that? while. Oh my god! You're not going back to school this this year, baby. Well, you probably will. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. When? Uh, I love Lucy's on Hulu. Ooh, can That's I awesome. tell you what's a really, really Thanks, Halston. God hey Halston, can you look up there was a Game of Thrones if you're an adult. Isla believes she's ready for Game of Thrones. Oh, she keeps saying that. I'm like, girlfriend, it is so violent, you would have so many nightmares. No. And there's too much sex in it. It's just like way too much sex. Lots of sex. I think they started cutting sex out towards the they end, did. going like, we don't really need this. I know it's sold it up front. Um there was a show on Hulu with uh Who's the girl who's in the office who's real pretty and she's Quincy uh, Quincy Jones? Uh, Rashida Jones. What's re re Will you type in Rashida Jones IMDb and find out her show on Hulu or Amazon? Who is she in the office? It is so... What? No. It was... Angie Tribeca? And is yeah. it Angie? Angie, Angie, Tri Angie Tribeca. Angie Tribeca is so fucking funny. Yeah. It is, it is Airplane... But current day, and it is so funny. Yeah, it is. Definitely a watch Angie Tribeca. It yeah, is it's like, on TV. It's PG, PG. Yeah, I and it so. is so damn funny. Yeah, it's a good one. What the hell is this stupid dog eating? What is a dog eating? Hey, don't you love this dog? So much fun to have her in the man cave with us. I got slobbered though. She's still chewing it. Oh well, down the hatch. It's probably a rock. So we haven't done any kind of game. We would oh, play a lot oh, of board oh, games. Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh. What? Uh, what's my favorite game? I want to play that tonight. Rumi Cube. Rumi Cube is the greatest game ever. It's so fun. It's so fun. Everyone can play. It is so fun. Does everyone know what Rumi Cube is? Some people call it Rummy Cube, but we call it Rumi Cube. Oh, I don't a, know what the proper pronunciation is. It's called Rummy Cube. Yeah, Why would we Rummy ever? Because your fucking family. <laughs> no, no, fucking you know who family, we learned it? No, no, no. Sandy. Sandy told us. Sandy told us. It's Jesus. from Calm Sandy. Down. It's we, from Sandy. We learned it from someone who English is not her first language. No, she called it uh, Rumi Cube, and it's really Rummy Cube. <laughs> I've called it Rumi Cube this whole time because. <laughs> yes! You didn't realize that it was like Rummy? 
I did not. I did. And I, I was like, why are we calling it Rummy Tiles? It's like playing Rummy on Tiles with four people on a table. It's really what fun. Was the point you can of play that? with more, four, more than dog. four people, right? No, one game is for four people. We but bought two connect, games like, and combine the tiles and can play with up to eight So people. we can just play with, with, with fucking cards? Yeah, Rummy yes. is, is the same. It's a card game, Rummy, yeah. Yeah, except it's more fun with the tiles. This is a little bit more sophisticated. Than what just I never Sandy? realized that yeah. Rumi cute. <laughs> Fucking it's Sandy. because Sandy called it Rumi Q. I'm calling her right now. She's so funny. Are you shitting me? Yes, yeah, she's the one that introduced us to it. We play Rumi Cube. We like to play Clue. Spoons. We like to play Spoons. Oh, tell everyone how to play Spoons if they don't know how to play Spoons. Okay. Attack each other. Hang on one second. Let me let me shame Sandy first. I've been calling it Rumi Cube because of her. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, everyone, if you don't know Sandy, you're about to hear her accent and understand why she calls Everybody it knows who Sandy Rumi is Cube. on my podcast. This isn't your podcast. They know uh, her What online. is she doing that she doesn't have her phone right next to her? They're on lockdown. She's at the farmer's market. <laughs> she texted me earlier and told me that they were at the farmer's market. And she said, if you want to... Why the fuck? She Are we said, the only ones doing this lockdown? No, she said that the farmer's market was really empty. And that you if we wanted to that. get some fresh air, we should go to the farmer's market. Yeah. Oh, Sandra. Well, you know, she's, you know, I don't know. Anyway, Clue. We like to play Clue. Spoons. How do you play Spoons? You have, say you have Hello. six people. One person's the dealer. Five people are at the table. Well, no, you can deal and play. Oh, you can? You're just the first person that gets a card. Oh, okay. Well, then you explain it. Okay. What are you doing? Um, it's kind of like musical so chairs. So you have six people, then you have five spoons in the middle of the table, and everyone gets four cards, and you're trying to get like four eights or four sevens or like four, four of a kind. queens. And it's like that. Um, so the dealer gives the card to the first person or to themselves if they're like dealing and playing. And okay, goodbye. She's just letting the dog out. Bye, doggy. Um. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um. So the dealer gets the first card, and if they need that card, so if they have like a one, a two, and a three, and a four, and they're trying to click threes, if the card they get's a three, then they keep that card and pass one they don't need um to the next person. But if they don't need it, they just keep passing it, and. The, the cards go around the circle and then the last person like makes a pile of the cards and then um when someone gets four of a kind they take a spoon and then when someone takes a spoon everyone has to take a spoon and whoever's left out and doesn't have a spoon is out and it's basically the last person so you take a spoon every round when someone goes out so does a spoon so then if there's four people playing there's only three spoons yeah and then three people and then on Chinese spoons. New Year we played this and we played for money. Yes, it was But rowdy. I was a dealer, so I got compensation. There were like <laughs> 17 people, not even. There were like 20 people playing. There was a lot of people playing. You can play as many people as you want, but you I think it's a lot like more cards. six people per deck. It's eight people per deck. Eight people per deck of cards. So if you have more than eight people, you need a second deck of cards. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's loud and rowdy and people... Mona. We learned to play this game at the lake house and it gets like rolling around on the floor fighting over spoons, yeah. like punching. Kylie punched somebody on, on New Year's Eve, on Christmas Eve, Chinese New Year. She punched her friend to get a spoon. It gets really aggressive. It's really fun, though. So if you want to work off some energy, that's a good game to play. Mm-hmm. What else do we like to play? Remy Cube. Oh, we play um, Sorry. Mm-hmm. And we play Parcheesi. What else? Those are some good games to play. So, so here's our plan. Mega movie marathon, game nights, schoolwork, and cleaning out our closets. That's funny. It's going to be great. All right, babe. So I'm going to wrap it up. I have to wash my tie-dye. She's got to wash her tie-dye. We got stuff to do. Okay. Um, so I guess we decided the one movie you should watch is Hey Big Boy by Burt Kreischer, streaming currently on Netflix. Exactly, exactly. Dragon. Hey Big Boy. Monez. It's really good. Hello. Thank you. If I may say so myself, I've seen it many, many times and I laughed 
at least once every time. I've probably seen that special. More than anyone. Maybe 20 times, like after it was filmed. Like a, a, an edited filmed special. And every time I laugh, at We're least We're getting a lot of good part. response. And so thank you everyone who's good. watching it. Good. And stay safe out there. Um, Any comedy specials for kids? That would be good for them to watch? Uh, yeah. the girl. I think Isla and Georgia might have watched, or, or at least friends had, of theirs had watched John Mulaney's, which is a really good one. Tom Papa's out right now, Fortune Feimster. All those are really like family friendly and safe, which That's is good. probably going to blow up. Anyone family friendly right now yeah. is going to really blow up. What and about Jim Tom, Gaffigan? Jim Gaffigan's fucking amazing. Brian His, Regan? Brian Regan is amazing. Uh-huh. Um, Dimitri Martin is uh-huh. amazing. Um, those are all family friendly, meaning you're not going to, uh, Anthony Jeselnik's special has one of the best jokes I've ever heard on it in my entire life. It's not family friendly, but is the very first joke he tells. It is so fucking good. That's cool. Um, yeah, you want me to tell it to you real quick? Sure. So inappropriate. No, I'm not going to do it. George is in the room. I'll go wash on my tie No, 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 no. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really great ones coming out. Chris D'Elia's is coming out. Tom Segura's next week. Uh, Pete Davidson's just came out. So it just everyone check them out. They're really great specials out there. Now right is now. a great time in history, I guess, to be stuck at home with so many options for streaming. There's and so many great comedy specials. Just start and... streaming through them, mm-hmm. and you will find some amazing comedy specials. Um, but yeah, so everyone, uh, everyone, get close to your family these next eight weeks. Yeah, I was just saying that maybe this is an opportunity for us all to push pause and reflect on what's important in life. Uh, is it your health? Is it your family? Is it your finances? Is Are you working in a job that you really hate and you just haven't had the motivation to change? What is it? Maybe now's the time to push pause and say, what do I need to work on? Because there, you can't, you're not going anywhere. We're all stuck at home. We can't distract ourselves with going shopping or to the bars or to restaurants or to Joann's to buy crafts. You're stuck at home, so why not use the time wisely to spend some quality time with your kids or your family or your significant other? Or learn how to surf and get away from your family. Learn Take up how- golf. Well, yeah, but those things are kind of in public. No, you can play golf. There's fucking amazing social distancing in golf. I guess so. Go out and play by yourself. I guess so. So, yeah, maybe. So maybe maybe use this as a... As a I'll tell, you, opportunity I'll tell you, I'll tell you, my thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to ride my bike because mm-hmm. the traffic's not that bad. Mm-hmm. I love riding bike. I love riding my bike. I love spin class. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to try to be healthy these next few weeks. I'm not going cold turkey with nothing, but I'm taking a huge break off. So maybe this, sometimes you got to say, maybe everything's happening for a reason for me. Yeah. And so if you're in a place of panic, which I definitely have been the last few days. Mm-hmm. I haven't been comfortable to be around. Um, today I was pretty much a, a piece of shit. No, you weren't a piece of shit. You've just been very, very um, intense. It's really it's been very difficult. Yeah, it has been very intense. Intense is what it's been. You you're feeling things very intensely, and that bleeds into into the house because you come into the house in an intense place, and yeah. so that's that's all. I, we all I think understand. You understand that, right, Georgia? Yes. Yeah. I've so. been living with you a long time. <laughs> well, Heidi, tell Keith I said hi. I miss you guys. We miss you guys. Did we do a podcast just for Heidi. We Hemstreet. did just for Heidi Hemstreet. Thank you. It's Heidi for Hemstreet. all of you guys. Um, and thank you for the suggestion. It was a great suggestion. It was a great. Su- hey, by the way, hit up Leanne if you have any other great suggestions of like uh, for, of of podcasts you'd like to hear yeah. during these next few weeks where. We're all kind of hanging out and hunkering down with our family and, because and, it's really great. I'm not doing that on my podcast. My podcast is going to stay the same. Mm-hmm. Me bringing in uh, friends, comics, it's a couple of fucking huge celebrities reached out to me. Oh, yeah? Yes. And we're like, yo, uh, I don't want to tell you because you're not. You're going to be like, they're not famous to you, but they're big to me. Yeah. And we'll so, tell you later. Yeah. I'm not going to. I don't want to spoil it, but like huge celebrities reached out and said they were fans and they wanted to do my podcast, so I'm going to try to step up my game a little bit. We're still doing Two Bears, One Cave. Um, I'm also doing Bill Burt, and uh, and I think we're bringing back open tabs pending on what's going on. It's kind of confusing right now, but we're going to start doing open tabs again. So, look, this time's a great time to double down on content for people like us and and make it for you because, listen, we are in the same boat you are. Yeah. Because I'm looking for shit, too. 
um, there's this great surfer I follow, Jamie O'Brien. There's this great uh, couple sailing around the world called Sailing Love Vagabond. They're all on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, find new shit and share new shit that you like because everyone's in the same boat. Yes, and share this podcast. If you know somebody who could use some suggestions on what to do while cooped up, I know as you're just saying that, I was thinking, well, there's a lot we could talk about while, about being cooped up. We could, I could have Kirsten and Kathy over and talk about books we've read that maybe we hadn't talked about ever before that were really great books. I know not everybody cares about that, but a lot of people are avid readers. And guess what? Download it on your Kindle. You don't even have to go to the library. I would like to read a book. You know what book I want to read? What's the book? Go ahead. Never mind. Georgia. <laughs> So you were, you were, <laughs> you were. Uh, let's just say I know you're tasting books now. So we we were waiting for you at Whitney's. Yeah, we were waiting for a long time, right? We we were waiting for a long time. We sat outside her house for like forty five minutes the first time, An hour. and then you have a book that you bought that you left in the car. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've read any of this book. He probably has. I think he knows exactly but, what we're talking about. No, I don't about. think he does. He's lost. I don't even remember the name of the book. It's called like The Last Republican. Oh, no, I don't think it's, it's called The Last like Repu Last Patriot, maybe. Last oh, Patriot. yeah, yeah, I know that book. It's, I, I read the other ones from that guy. Okay. <laughs> we had a blast. I read this book aloud, and we were like, of course Dad likes this book. Yeah, it's of about this, course. But this guy goes rogue, right? <laughs> Yeah, but have you read? No, the we prologue? didn't even get that no, far. I didn't even it's, read about, it's about it's about it's it's a male it's romance. romance novel. It is a male romance novel, straight up. No, it yes, is a hundred percent. Yes, it is. Uh, we will go get the book, and I will read you the prologue on this podcast, and you will say that is a male romance novel. No, a hundred percent. We were dying because we kept going. Dad thinks he's this guy, and he's this woman. I want to touch her, but I can't touch her. She wants to touch me too. I can tell she really wants to touch no, me. No, that's not I what this book's about. I swear to God! I swear to God! It's the one book I read. Remember the book I read over the summer? Yeah. Now I know why. Because no. it's a male romance novel. No, it's yes, a it murder is. mystery. It's, it's a hundred percent male. Oh no, 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 no! It's no, a no, spy no. thriller. It's, it's a, a spy male. thriller. It's a spy thriller. Am I going to go need to go get it and read the prologue? Get the fucking book. No, I have to go tie-dye my thing. <laughs> You're going to be fine with the tie-dye. Oh How, Georgia? <coughs> Can you please not cough? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Halston. Yeah, Jesus, Georgia. I was like, we were so bored, and I was like, well, there's a book in here. I mean, I used to read books aloud to the girls all the time, even when they were older. We'll just read this book aloud. We opened it up, and like literally within the first two or three sentences... Isla was practically inside her sweatshirt. She was so flipped out that you would be reading this book. The, the last, last Patriot, Patriot or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's we'll see. It's a great fucking Brad Thor wrote the other book I loved. Oh, and so it's probably a male romance novel also. <laughs> oh, I need to leave work early tonight. The Frenchman said, and he goes, "Why?" I read Backlash. It was awesome. And he goes, "The Last Patriot." Here we go. The co the coworker said, "Why Are you going yeah. out with?" He showed a picture of the girl, and he goes, "What happened to the blonde?" Oh, that was last week. Remember yeah. that? <laughs> so the Last Patriot is a thriller written by American novelist Brad Thor. It tells the story of counterterrorism agent Hold on. Scott Haberach. Okay, time out. What man is going to buy a book where it's described as male romance novel with the backdrop of spy? Nobody. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get the book. Agent Scott Haberath attempts to uncover a revelation that could damage the standing of Islamic extremism. No, no, Where no. in the fuck? No, 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 no. no in no, this book? There's hints of that. I'm the telling book's you. The plot, the Islamic prophet Muhammad is depicted as having been assassinated by his followers to conceal a damaging secret. <laughs> Twelve centuries later... <laughs> Thomas Jefferson unearths the mystery and leaves clues for the future researchers okay, Georgia, to follow. Georgia, will Haberath you go get the book out of the truck? to unravel Please? the truth yeah. about Muhammad's ultimate Put epiphany in the, in the face of deadly resistance from those intent on keeping it suppressed. Just wait. The She's going to go get the book. Patriot. She's going to go get the book. We were dying. The novel was number one on the New York Times bestseller list. I'm sure it was. It was nominated for the best thriller of 2008, 
by International Thriller Writers Association. I'm sure it was. It has little to no romance in it and very little <laughs> sexual. Uh, and that's what it says. I hear some bullshit right often, now. <laughs> often, women with their smaller brains <laughs> see things very one sided. Men understand <laughs> complexities of heroic characters often resembling themselves. Oh, often resembling themselves with women. With with what what were you say? Uh, what is it you say? When I it's been so I can't remember now. She was all uh, no no. I don't know. Oh, it, in the description it should say and men being jocked constantly. Jocked, yeah. I was getting jocked so hard. I've been getting jocked hard as fuck. Really, really. I had a dream you got jocked and I fucking got really upset. <laughs> I woke up very very angry with you, <laughs> and I'm almost not done with it. Oh really? Yeah. Who was jocking me? Christian Bale. Doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, she's going to get the book. I'm going to read you this, the prologue, just a few sentences, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. There's no way they would write the description of this book as what I saw it to be. And really? I read uh, probably the first two chapters and was like, this is about a man who slays women and is talking about Islam. <laughs> well, I probably that's what I do. I exactly. slay women. Exactly. And protect the United States of America. By staying While quarantined, the- and <laughs> staying quarantined in my house. It was pretty hysterical. You should have seen Isla was dying. In oh, the cool! Is he grab my fucking foot? <laughs> Izzy is fucking exhausted. You live with her. Uh, you don't live with her every day. I live with this dog every day. Yeah, come on in, Izzy. Let's ruin this. Okay, ready? Brad Thor, a thriller, the last patriot. Okay, go ahead. Let's read it. You ready? Yeah. You're about to hear a dog fight, everybody. <laughs> Prologue. Andrew Salam stepped out from behind the bronze statue of Thomas Jefferson and asked, are you alone? There we go. Thriller. 23-year-old Nora Khalifa okay. nodded. <laughs> <laughs> her thick, dark hair spilled over her shoulders, stopping just above her breasts. <laughs> Beneath her thin jacket, he could make out the curves of her body, (laughs) the narrowness of her waist. For a moment, he believed he could even smell her perfume, though it was more likely the scent of cherry blossoms blown by a faint breeze. So this is in D.C. This is in D.C. He shouldn't be meeting her at night and alone like this. It was a mistake. Yeah, because he's married or he's got... Go ahead. Actually... The mistake was allowing his lust for her to cloud his judgment. <laughs> it's a fucking romance novel for it's men. Not, not this is, novel. you know, who the main character is played by Fabio. <laughs> is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Get the fuck out! No, the main character is played by Bert Fabio Kreischer. By Fabio. By Bert Kreischer. <laughs> Salam knew better. She was gorgeous, desirable woman, but she was also his asset. He had recruited her, and he was re- responsible for the tenor of their relationship. So. She's under him, right? Literally and figuratively. I like it. Right? Exactly. No matter how perfect he thought they could be for each other, no matter how badly he wanted to feel, just once her lips and that body pressed against his as he buried his nose in the nape of her neck and drank in the smell of her, he couldn't crumble. <laughs> I'm sorry! You cannot tell me this is not a male romance novel. Okay, maybe there's some innuendo. <laughs> It's, 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 this is what women's romance novels are written like exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I can see it. <laughs> oh my God. Leave that book inside. I'm going to read that to you. <laughs> so, anyway, if you don't have a movie to watch or a game to play together, you could read a, you could read a book aloud. Brad Thor, Last That's Patriot. The last Patriot. There's a lot Buy of your in husband. that book. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you guys for talking to me about this today. Thank You're you. Welcome. It was fun. Did you have fun? I did. I did. I'm sorry I was distracted. I had to take a phone call it's in the okay. middle and I got a 17 a pound brisket cooking. We have a lot going on. Thanks, Georgia, for doing this with You're me. You're welcome. I appreciate Isla's it. In the living room. Yeah, I was just eating fucking ice cream. Is she? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's not dumb. Well, we've done one before without you. Now we've done one without her. So now oh. we're even. Roasted. Well, I love you. I love you too. I love you, Bert. More than Georgia? Uh, no, I don't know. She's pretty cute. Um, Who do you love? And I, there's nobody I'd rather be quarantined with than the four of us. Yeah, oh, I actually thanks. love this family. I don't mind it. 
It'll be really oh, fun. Oh, cool. You don't mind it. Kind, yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm glad we're all stuck together. I can't imagine having doing this with my family. Dad, Nana, and Zay and Ka, when we were this age, we would have been fucking killing ourselves. Oh, yeah? Hey! Hello. All right. Well, let's go put the dog up. Tie-dye. Good luck with your tie-dye. I love you guys. Love you. I love you too. I love you, America. And everywhere else. <laughs>